Hello guys, Craig Frost here again for another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Uh, today we're in Premiere Pro CS6 and we've already had a first look at this in another video. This is just a quick easy feature that I thought was really cool that isn't in other Premiere uh, programs. So I have a little sequence here that I've already quickly thrown together. Um, it's nothing special. Um, but it's there on the timeline. Now, what if I want to make this full screen to preview an edit that I've done and I don't have an external monitor? What do I do then? Well, in the past you could either try and drag out this window to as big as possible or, uh, let's just reset this workspace. Okay. Or, um, in previous versions, we've had the option to press the tilde key, which on your um, keyboard looks like this. It may be in a different place. In a lot of keyboards, it's above the tab key next to the one. On mine, this isn't my keyboard, by the way. On mine, it is in this place, just next to the shift and Z. Anyway, so we've been able to use this also in... CS5 and 5.5 and other versions we've been able to just hover our mouse over which window we want to enlarge and then press that key so if I hover over the sequence and press it it will expand the sequence to fill the screen the same with the uh, project window and the source monitor and the preview but even now it's still not totally full screen if I want to watch this back um, now we can press control and tilde as well. So on the keyboard, obviously control plus this key. And that will allow us to preview in complete full screen. Let me show you now. So go to the start of my sequence, control tilde key, and we're now completely full screen, spacebar to play. And you can JKL through that, go backwards, using the J, K, and L buttons, and all your other shortcuts work, but you can now watch it full screen, and of course, you can press Escape or Control Tilde again to get out of that. Now, that's a just thought that was a nice little trick there to share with you. Um, I hope you like that, and I hope it helps you, you out if you're using this software. I thoroughly recommend this software. I haven't yet used it in a proper project, but I have one coming up next week that I'm definitely going to use this for. It seems a lot more responsive than the previous version, CS 5.5, and uh, I'm just finding more and more features as I go through, so I will share them as I find them. So thanks for watching. Remember, you can follow us at twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more of these videos. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Bye.